The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. Hey team, welcome back to our fifth workout in our series. My name is Brendan McKenzie, and this week's workout is called the towel. So for equipment, what you guys need is you need two small towels, something like this, and a smooth surface, a smooth floor. You're also gonna want a pillow or a pad, something like this that's soft for our knees and our elbows today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use furniture sliders. So if you have anything like this, then you could use these on all surfaces as well too. So get ready for a good hard full body workout. Let's go. Hey team, welcome back to week five. And here we are, we're gonna start with our warm up. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna go nice big inhale, arms up overhead, exhale. As we exhale, we're gonna come into a big squat. You can just tuck it down. We're gonna give you three of those. Inhale, exhale, big squat, inhale, exhale. Good, bringing ourselves up, we're gonna go nice big single arm shoulder circles, five times coming forwards. Just get that body moving. Always want to check in with the, with the body, see how we're feeling. Five there, then going back. Same thing, other side. And coming backwards. Good, from here we're gonna to go to neck roll. So you can just go hands on hips. Nice big neck circles here for me. We're gonna go five times each way as well. Check in with your neck, see how that's feeling. And then change in direction, same thing other way. We're gonna work top down, one more time. And let's go into rotations here. So nice full body rotations, we're gonna go five aside. And we're coming into hip circles. So our hip circles, we're pressing our hips, we're imagining a, a uh, imaginary hula hoop all the way around. We're trying to touch each part of the hula hoop with those hips. So forwards, out to the side, back, and then around. Five times one direction here. And then change the direction, same thing other way. And that's it. Circles are so good for us. You get more joints working. Lubricate the joints. From here, we're gonna go knee circles now. So it's feet together, hands can just go on the knees. Five times here, I'm bringing the knees forwards and then around. Same thing other way. This is nice, it gets those ankles moving as well. Good, from here, just wanna get a little bit of heat going. So let's go ahead, just gonna give me five squats. Coming back up. And then we're gonna take that into a side lunge. So I want us just widening our stance. Then we're just gonna shift here. I'm shifting over, right side, coming up, left side, coming up, five aside. One more each side. Excellent. From here, we're gonna go into jumping jacks. I want 30 jumping jacks. Let's get some heat going. And we'll finish off with a little bit more mobility. That's 10. That's 20. And 30, excellent. From here, you're gonna step back with your left leg. So I want that right foot forward, we're gonna do a hip floss mobility. If you need something to support yourselves, grab something to support yourselves. Otherwise, I'm gonna go one hand down here on the ground. I'm gonna let my right knee, my front leg, fall out to the side. I'm trying to bring my hips as close as I can to my ankle, and I'm just gonna work forwards and back. We're gonna go five times through this right here. Just let that knee fall out. That's it, trying to bring our hips nice and close to that ankle. Good, and then from there, you can bring yourselves up. We'll switch legs, so I have my left foot in front. 
stepping back with that right leg. I'm gonna let that left knee fall out to the side. Work the hips forward, work the hips back here. Trying to bring the hips as close as I can to my ankle. That's five. Now, I'm stepping back. I'm gonna change it up again. Now what I want us doing is we're gonna open that foot up here. So bottom of the shoe is off the ground. Just changes the muscles that we're hitting here. It's a little more intense in the hip. Never wanna do anything that hurts ourselves. A little bit of discomfort's okay. Should never feel any tight pain, sharp pain, anything like that. And then stepping back, and then we're gonna switch it up. Massaging those hips. This one often gets some heat going. We're using the whole body. We're working out a tight hip joint. Most of us spend too much time sitting. So it's a nice way to loosen those hips up. Helps us out with our squats here. Good, from there. Coming down on the ground, we're gonna drop down to our knees. I want you to take your right foot here up and we're gonna go ankle circles here now. So I'm just gonna then work forwards. We're gonna go three times here. Going inside. Then we're going three times going outside. If you want a pillow for underneath your back knee, grab a pillow. Good, and then just switching it up. Same thing here, other side. I got that other leg up. Work in circles here. Three times there, driving that knee forward and then it's coming inside and then around. Excellent, from here. We're going on all fours. We're gonna hit some wrist mobility. So your wrist, what I want us doing is I'm gonna take my right hand, my fingers are gonna point back. My left hand, my fingers are gonna point forwards. We're gonna go three circles here now. So I'm circling with my whole body. Try to keep the heel, the palms down on the ground. That's two and three, and then we're changing directions. Same thing other way here. One, two, three, and then we're just flipping the hands over. I'm gonna restart here now. Three times, going clockwise. And then we're going three counterclockwise. Just leaning on that, on those hands. Try to keep the heel, the palms down. Excellent. From here, just shake those wrists out for one second. You got it. We're gonna go in some, uh, we're gonna go into a, a, a push-up position. If you need to go from your knees, you can also go from your knees as well too. And then from here, we're gonna protract, retract. So I'm gonna let my shoulder blades come together, pull the shoulders apart. Shoulders together. Pull the shoulders apart. We're gonna go 10 there. Again, if I have to do it for my knees, it's just same thing. Okay, kind of like a cat cow, except all we're doing is moving those shoulders. We got a couple more here. Good, we can bring ourselves up. I want us doing five squats and then 30 jacks one more time. Excellent, and we're back into 30 jacks. That's 10. That's 20. And 30, excellent. Go ahead, grab yourself a sip of water, and then come on back for the main set. Hey team, welcome back to our main set. I'm gonna take us through our exercises first. Uh, make sure that you modify any of the exercises if you need to modify it all. And we can also change the reps as well too. All we want is just to challenge ourselves. So first exercise is you're gonna go mountain climbers. We're gonna go push up position here. I have my feet on my towels or my sliders, and all I'm doing is just switching here. Hey, we're gonna give me 30 of those right there. We're going 15 a side. Second exercise, I'm gonna move one of those towels off to the side. Then we're gonna do a three-way lunge, so our three-way lunge. I'm gonna press out, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come out to the side, I'm gonna come up, and then I'm gonna come back, and then I'm gonna come up. You can do the exact same thing without those sliders as well too. Then we're gonna go kneeling, so then we need that pad, okay? I'm gonna start off here on my knees. Both hands are on my towels or sliders. I wanna take my hips, I wanna move them forward so we're here. Then I'm gonna slide one arm out. One arm goes out here, other arm goes out, going back up. That's gonna be our cross slide. You guys are gonna go five aside there. Last one we're gonna do is a body saw. So then I take my pad, 
I'm gonna move it underneath my elbows. My feet are on the sliders. I'm holding a plank. So I'm here on the elbows. I'm gonna slide back, hold it, pull back together. Slide back, hold it. I don't want my hips to drop. I wanna stay up nice and strong. So we're trying to hold that hollow body position. We're gonna go three rounds through. So starting off, got those mountain climbers for 30. Here we go. 10. 20. 30. I'm gonna keep one foot on the slider. I'm gonna let my other foot go away. We're doing our three-way lunge. So I'm pressing out, coming up. I'm gonna go to the side and back. Every time we're coming up in the middle, that's two, three, four, and five. So just changing which foot's on that slider there now. It's two. I wanna keep all my weight on the leg that's on the ground here. So I'm squatting on that leg every time. And then really we're just kind of changing the angle, which changes the muscles that we're working as well too. That's four, we got one more here. And five, okay. Grab your pillows or your pads. They're gonna go underneath the knees. Two hands on those towels or those sliders. One hand staying under the body. The other one's coming out. And then we're pushing back up. I wanna put weight on this hand, pushing the ground. We're going five aside here. Two. Three. Four. And five. Last one in the set is body saws. So we're going feet on those towels, elbows on our pad or the floor, holding that plank. We're going 10 of these here. Sliding up and back. Stay nice and strong while we do it. And we only want to go as far as we can control. Some of us might just hold the plank. Some of us might just not even move at all. And that's totally fine. Excellent, that's one set done. So we're back up, we're in that next set, just moving that pad away. We're into our mountain climbers. Here we go for 30. 10, 20, nice and strong, 30. Good, bringing ourselves up. One foot on that slider, other foot's on the ground. Our three-way lunge. Two, three, four, and five. Changing feet. As I'm pressing out, I want to keep that whole foot on the ground. So I want the even weight across the front of the foot and the back of the foot. Doing good. This is four. One more. Excellent. Then we're gonna go kneeling. So if you want that pad, grab onto that pad or that pillow. Coming back down. I want my hips to be forward on this one. I don't want my bum to be back. Coming out and then back up. Two, push down on the ground. And 
and five. Excellent. Last one's that body saw. We're feet on those sliders, elbows on that pad. Nice strong plank position, sliding back and forth. 10 of these here. Excellent, we got one more round. So moving that pad off to the side, push a position, mountain climbers. Stay nice and strong, that's 10. 20. 30. Bring ourselves up, we're back in that three-way lunge. Pad goes off to the side, squatting straight out to the side, straight back, even weight on, the, on that foot that's on the ground the whole time. That's the leg I'm working. My body just stays right over that leg. That's three. For four. And five. Nice job. One more on that other leg here. Pressing it out. Three, we're doing good. Four. And five, excellent. Hey, we're kneeling. We've got two more things left in the set. Grab that pillow, that pad, put it under the knees here. Hips are gonna be forward, sliding out. Nice and strong, I'm pushing in the ground. That's two. Three, four, and five. Last one is our body saws. Let's be nice and strong on these ones. Really good core exercise here. You're gonna feel this one tomorrow. That's four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, you guys. Just finished off the first set of our workout. Go ahead, take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Hey, team, we're back with your fifth tip of the week. This week's tip is to track your progress. So what we wanna do is we wanna think about our goals and what we wanted to achieve, and then we wanna track that. We wanna find some way to measure it. It's really rewarding, and it really kinda gives you good motivation when we see that we're progressing. So we wanna measure something, we wanna track it, whether it's your energy, how you feel, how motivated you are, how many reps you can do, how much weight you can lift. If your goal is weight loss, we probably wanna measure that as well too, but measure something, and let's go. Okay, we're back with our second set. Uh, this one we're starting off raising that heart rate right away. So we're gonna go skater hops. We're gonna go 10 aside. So first exercise is here, okay? Now, I can also just do a side lunge and then come back as well too. So option to do that as well. We're gonna go 10 aside there. Second exercise is gonna be a push-up. Our push-up, you're gonna go, if you can, you're gonna go on the sliders today. So the way we're gonna do our push-up is just here. I have one hand on each towel. I'm gonna move one hand out. I come up, other hand goes out come back together. I can play with angles as well too if I want, or I can just take those sliders away. I can also go for my knees as well too on that push-up, and even using my knees and then the slider as well too. Then you're gonna flip over onto your back. We're putting our feet on the towel or those sliders here, so I'm going heels on. My head is down. My hips are gonna be up in the air. We're gonna slide out, curl in. Slide out, curl in. If it's too hard with both legs, Option to go one leg as well, two at a time, just like that. Last exercise, straight legs. I'm going in and out, out and in. And that one's for 10 right there. So, starting off, up standing. We're in those skater hops. We're going 10 aside. Here we go. I 
I can jump small, I can jump big. Bigger the jumps, harder it is. Excellent, from there we're coming down on the ground. We're going into those slider push-ups here. This just changes the angle of the muscles we're working in the arms and the chest. I wanna keep my weight on that arm that's not moving. We're going five aside here. That's two, three, four, five. And then we're putting those sliders down underneath the feet. It's that hamstring curl. This one we're going 10 of here. So it's heels on, head down. Hips are up in the air here. Legs sliding out, coming back in. Option to go on one leg. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going straight legs out. We're gonna burn it out today a little bit. Out and in for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. One set done. Popping back up. We're going through three times, three rounds. So we're back in that skater hop. Ten aside, twenty total. Good, and then we're coming down into those push-ups here. Again, we can go from our knees or from our toes. Really, this turns into a bit of a single arm push-up here. Most of my weight is on that inside arm. It's three aside. Good, and then we're going feet on those sliders into those hamstring curls. Heels on it. My toes are up in the air. Hips are up here. We're going for 10. Good, legs coming back out straight. We're going into that jack. Legs going out and in for 10. Excellent. And we're going one more time through. Starting off with those skater hops, 10 aside. Good, back into those push-ups here. Last time through, you got it. Back into those hamstring curls, heels on. Hips are up in the air. We're going for 10. And we're holding out there. Last one is that reverse plank jack. Legs just going in and out for 10. Good, excellent. From here, if you have that pillow, wanna grab that pillow, we can come down, just put the pillow underneath the knees. We can finish off any child's pose here. Just resting those hands out, let that head just sink down, fall between the arms. I'd love us to hang out here for a minute. You can also even just move one hand out to the side. So I'm stretching out the lats on one side there. Take a little bit of time to cool yourselves down after today's workout. Thanks for coming out and working out with me. Uh, remember to check out more of our programs. Go to www.level10regina.com. And uh, yeah, 
Come see me next week.